Bonjour. I'm Hojun Lin Kais. Thanks for joining. Um, today, I am pleased to introduce our paper, Draft Rack, Personalized Draft Recommendation for Winning in Multiplayer Online Battle Arena Games. So, a multiplayer online battle arena games are one of the most popular game genre around the world, which includes League of Legends, Dota 2, and Honor of Kings. As you might notice, viewership of League of Legends have exceeded major esports events where a number of views of League of Legends World Finals exceeded the number of views of NBA Finals and MLB World Series in 2019. So commonly, mobile games are divided into two stages, draft stage and play stage. In draft stage, players are, players are split into two teams and alternatively select a virtual character as known as champion to play. Figure one displays the in-game screen of the draft stage in League of Legends. The left side is the blue team and the right side is the purple team. Player one through eight already selects the champions and it's now player's ninth turn to select the champion. After that is the player 10 lastly pick the champion and the draft stage is over. So after the draft stage, the players move on to the play stage. In play stage, each player controls a selected champion and the team that first destroyed the opponent's main tower wins the game. So as figure two, this is the in-game screen of the PlayStation in the League of Legends. So the red, the red top on the screen is destroyed, the red team loses and the blue team wins. So suppose you are a player who selects your champion at the draft stage. There exist two major difficulties in selecting the right champion. First, the exponential size of the champion combinations. Since there exist the champions with good synergies and the champions with best synergies, it is important to understand the synergy with our team's champions and the competence with the opponent team's champions. However, since there currently exist 156 champions in League of Legends, with five players each for each team, number of possible champion combinations are up to four times 10 to the 17th. So it's enormous and huge. Second, even if you select the champion with good synergy with our team, it may be a not appropriate choice depending on your champion proficiency and your play style. So it is very difficult to select the right champion. Therefore, players commonly rely on a simple statistics with game analytics services. For professional players, they hire coaches to take charge of drafting. Like, P, like figure four. To ease these difficulties, previous were focused on building recommender systems, which recommends the champions with a high probability of winning by considering the synergy and competence of the champions. However, none of these methods take the player's personal style into consideration. In response, we present DraftRack, a recommender system that suggests the champion with a high probability of the winning while understanding the play style of each player. DraftTrack understands the player's play style by encoding each player's past match histories. So we have three contributions. First, our paper first formalized the personalized draft recommendation problem in mobile games. Second, we propose a novel hierarchical architecture which integrates the player's play style. Third, DraftTrack achieved the best performance in match outcome prediction and personalized champion recommendation. So here, we first formalize the problem of personalized champion recommendation. So in figure five, suppose it's the player nine's turn to select the champion. Player nine can observe the currently selected champions up to one to eight, but can only observe the role and player ID of the same team, player one, four, five, eight. Through player ID, the player can easily search the past match histories of the players on the same team and can further understand the play style of their team's, team's players. Therefore, we define the state as the all observable information for the player P at turn T. The state is constructed with currently selected champions and match histories and roles of the same team. Here, given the state ST, our goal is to construct the recommendation model 
that predicts the champion which the player is likely to play and the outcome of the match. To do so, this is the architecture of our proposed model draft rack. Draft rack exploits a hierarchical architecture with two transformer networks, the player network and the match network. First, the player network takes the sequence of each player's match histories as input. After passing through the transformer block, the out of the player network represents the play style of each player. After that, the match network is followed to integrate the representation of the currently selected champions, roles, and the players of the same team. To allow the model to understand which turn the player is trying to pick, we've masked out the champion of the current turn. At figure six, we can see the mask on the turn nine. Again, by passing through the transformer block, the model predicts the selected champions as P and the match outcome as V. Now the model is trained to accurately predict the ground truth champion P, C, and the actual match outcome O. We use the binary cross entropy laws for both champion prediction and match outcome prediction. So after the training, how are we going to use this model to recommend the champion? By filling the mask token with each champion C, we can estimate the winning probability of playing champion C for player P. However, since out of distribution data might have arbitrarily inaccurate prediction values, the highest match outcome values can be inappropriately assigned to champions, which players do not prefer. Let's take a look at figure five. The blue curve denotes the predicted champion selection probability, and the red curve denotes the predicted winning probability of each champion. If we recommend the champion with the highest winning probability, the red curve, our model will recommend the champion in position 5.A, argmax V, in which the player has no expertise. Therefore, we restrict the decision space by recommending the champion with the highest match outcome, where its selection probability exceeds a certain threshold value. So this idea is quite similar to the offline reinforcement learning literature as batch constraint Q learning. So this is our experimental setup. Since the publicly available Dota data set has a scarce record of each player's match histories, we've manually collected the League of Legends match data set where each player has a rich set of match histories of 66 for more detailed detailed information about data set, you can see the GitHub. So these are the experimental results. In terms of predicting the likely champions play, our method achieved the best performance compared to the baseline from this recommender system literature. Um, in terms of the match outcome prediction, draft track also achieved the best performance compared to the baselines from the match outcome prediction literature. So they can accurately predict up to 55% in League of Legends. So we further ablate the maximum length of players match history to understand the importance of incorporating each player's personal preference and play style. As we can see, increasing the maximum length of players match histories leads to accurate prediction. So understanding the player's personal style is beneficial in both champion recommendation and match outcome prediction. For qualitative analysis, we've visualized the model's attention weight on League of Legends to understand how the model learned the synergy and competence between the champions. As you can see in figure eight, we observed that the champions with the top jungle, middle jungle, and AD carry support roles have high attention scores, which reflects the actual role inflection in League of Legends. So we can verify the model, learn how the roles interact each other. To test our proposed recommendation strategy, we compare with DraftTrack P, which recommends the most likely champion, DraftTrack V, which recommends the champion with highest predict win rate, 
and draft rate P plus V, which recommends the champion with the highest predicted win rate where its selection probability exists a certain threshold value. So draft deck P plus V is our recommended recommendation strategy, our proposed recommendation strategy. So in evaluation, the model recommends the champion with its corresponding recommendation strategy. And the separate evaluation model predicts the match outcome. So win dash K is the expected win rate if the player selects the top K recommended champions from the recommendation model. So from this result, we can observe that our recommendation strategy, draft track P plus V, is expected to have highest win rate. And if the player selects the top three champions from our recommendation model, the player's expected win rate is higher than 54%. So even if it looks not, not very large, the player follows, 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 it will lead to the large margin. We further conducted a user study to 84 players for 50 matches. The players were familiar with the recommended champions, think that these champions will likely lead to the victory. And we have provided the explanations based on the attention map and players think these explanations are reasonable and they would like to use this system afterwards. So the players were generally satisfied with this system. To summing up, we here present a draft track, a recommender system that suggests champion with a high probability of winning by understanding the play style of each player within the match. Draft track achieves the best performance compared to existing baselines. Our calls and data sets can be easily found in the public GitHub repository, and this repository is also included in our paper. So um, this is the end of our presentation, and merci beaucoup. Um, all right, thank you for the presentation. I, I, I love the Merci beaucoup to give uh, a little bit of a sense of uh, being in Lyon. Um, yeah, I, I really wanted to attend it to the Lyon though. Yeah, very nice. Um, so yeah, anybody has questions for, for Hojun and um, the presentation about draft rec? You put it in the chat or you could raise your hand and, and speak up. Thank you. So you can you can find our data set also the data set in the GitHub too. Well, let me ask what what's the next step for 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 this work that you're planning to do? I mean, you compared uh, with Dota and League of Legends, but um, are you planning to compare it to other game environments or what are, what are you thinking of? Um, actually, I think it was Ch Zhao who showed the real time with prediction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would like to also extend our work to the real time match prediction in League of Legends. So this League of Legends is since my major interest. Okay. So whether, whether their methods also can be easily extended or any other um, technical details need to be included in the League of Legends or, or so. And great. Yeah. And it also show, showcases that the nice thing about the session where there are papers that have all kind of similar topics about winning and personalization. And uh, there's definitely overlap in terms of the game environments being used or um, the approaches people take. Um, but there's also differences, as you said. Um, yours is not real time. Uh, the other presentation was.